Hey turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I was planning something totally different, but I need to get approval in order to post it before I post it. So here's a fun little impromptu video that I decided to make on why you guys should be considering getting your turtles outside. If you have any type of turtle or tortoise of any species at all, I cannot suggest enough to get them outside, even if just for a small amount of time, even if it's just, you know, for an hour, once every month even, any amount of time time outside is beneficial. So turtles are cold-blooded, they're reptiles. This means that they can't regulate their own body temperatures. When you or I get cold, we put on a blanket. When we get warm, we take off some clothes or something. But turtles don't have the ability to do that, so they need to physically warm themselves up or cool themselves down. In order to do this, they bask. Now, most people use a heat lamp, you know, just a normal heat lamp with your two bulbs and, or one, an all-in-one uh, mercury vapor bulb, and that's it, and your turtle will bask when he or she chooses. These lights can kind of be a little bit expensive so there's a couple little tiers that you can do as far as getting your turtle outside depending on your situation. So first let's talk about why you would want to get your turtle outside and the answer is right behind me. It's the sun. Not only is this the greatest source of UVA and UVB for your turtle beyond any bulbs or anything on the market, it's the most natural and it's free. Without UVB lighting, your turtles can get what's called metabolic bone disease, which is where their bones get too thin and frail and it just, their shells get all deformed and it is not a good situation because they can't synthesize that vitamin that's crucial for growing their shell and for their bones. This is why I heavily suggest getting your animals outside. It can help with shedding their scoots. It can help with any fungal problems they might be having by getting nice and dry and having access to natural sources of light. And it will give them that UVB radiation that they so desperately need. If you're gonna make an outdoor setup, even a temporary one, it's important that you give them options as to where they want to bask. This will help them feel more comfortable and entice them to bask if they have different options. They'll choose whichever one makes them feel safest. So scenario number one is that you're able to build an outdoor enclosure for your turtle. You're gonna wanna predator proof it. I have a video on that that I'm gonna link up here. The best scenario is you get your turtle outside all day, even if you just bring them in at night. This gives them plentiful access to the sun and it allows them to bask whenever they want. Now this is a very, very important factor, the choice of your animal to bask or not. The next scenario is people who just bring their animals outside for a couple hours at a time, every day or every week or every month even. Now this is good, but you're not giving the turtle a choice of whether or not they're going to bask. They, they don't have a choice. You're putting them outside under the light. This is very useful for UVB and getting exposed to that good radiation, but it does not replace basking. You still need a basking light in your home aquarium or setup or whatever turtle enclosure that you have, even if you're bringing your turtle outside. Bringing your turtle outside for an hour or two every day, every other day, every week, whenever, for any unspecified amount of time is very helpful in them getting that necessary radiation, but it does not replace basking. This is because the the turtle has no choice of whether they're gonna raise or lower their body temperature when they're already outside. It does not replace basking unless they're outside all the time and their enclosure is outside. Because like my turtles, they have the choice whether they wanna go up on their little log, whether they wanna bask, whether they wanna be in the water and cool down. But if you just have an empty tub with nothing really in it, your turtle doesn't have a choice. Now, in my little screened in porch over here, what I have are two enclosures that I have in a screened in porch to protect them from predators, which I heavily suggest. But if you can take a look over here. Now, both of these enclosures are still getting, first off, they get sunlight in the morning because the sun rises up there and they get sunlight in the morning. But despite not being directly in the sun, little Jelly and Otis are still able to get a lot of UVB radiation from the sun, even if it's under the shade, because guess what? It's bright right now. It's all lit up. So in conclusion, if you're bringing your turtle outside and they're not gonna be out all the time and under the sun, it supplements their basking, but does not replace it. If you keep your turtle outside all the time though, you're gonna notice a difference. They're gonna be a lot happier. It's a lot more natural. Outside you can make a lot more natural enclosures and setups, and most people have more space outside. The only thing is that you have to be warned of predators. These include snakes, large bullfrogs for smaller turtles, any aerial predators, herons, and the dreaded raccoons. If you have raccoons in your area, don't put your turtles outside at all at all, unless you have lockdown cages, unless you have the Fort Knox of turtle enclosures. Raccoons don't play. I'm telling you, they learn how to undo latches. It's really bad. On that happy note though, even if you can only take your turtle out for like an hour a month, I highly suggest you do it. Even if they're scratching at the walls and they're upset, it's more beneficial for them to get that radiation than 
the cost of them being stressed out for that small amount of time. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up to tell me I did a good job. Leave a comment down below on what species of turtle you guys own. Consider subscribing and heading over to my Patreon where you can support me and get early access to videos and all kinds of cool stuff. Shout out to my patrons over there who are currently supporting me. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.